What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Pop Goddess Kara back at again with another video for you guys and it is the first video of 2024 and today I'm going to be showing you a few things that I picked up as well as some that I got for a Christmas present. So stay tuned. So I hope you guys all had a happy new year, a great Christmas, and hopefully this year will be much better than your last than last year, because we can always do so much better than what we have done before. And hopefully these past three to four days of the new year have already been great for you. And if not, hopefully it gets a lot better coming for going forward. So like I said in the intro, today we're going to be showing off a few pops that I have picked up. One that I'm glad I actually went and found like actually looked through some pops I had before because I almost bought it a second time very glad I didn't but we'll get to that when we get to that so the first one I'm going to show you guys is going to be from the new Naruto line since they've gone more into like the villain-esque of it because which I am very happy they have gone into getting different characters out there so the first one I'm going to show you guys is going to be Kakuzu right here I recently just picked him up he was in GameStop so I saw, I think this was the only one they had at the time. They might have got more. I don't know how the shipment went. But I do know that with the holiday season coming up, because I did get it before Christmas, that I was I was going to pick it up. Because with Christmas coming up, everybody that's like a pop collector will probably put it on their list for someone to get. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's like a really a massively sought after pop. But either way, I'm very happy to have Kakuza added into my collection. I have no idea where I'm going to put them as of right now because I am in the process of moving some things around. I just actually recently moved my, and let me move real quick, uh, my bottom shelf here. I used to have all my DC figures. I currently just moved them over here to this bookshelf. If you guys want to see a video of what that looks like, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys to see exactly how the DC shelf looks. It looked, it turned out a lot better than what I was expecting, considering that I had more pops, more DC pops than what I thought, mainly because they're all Batman, but also had less than what I thought if, as well, if that makes any type of sense. I don't know, but that's just how that went. It didn't, it took me a little bit to figure out how I wanted it all to go, especially with displaying pops that I haven't displayed for a while from the Batman line, but I think I got it to where I want it to be at. But with that being said, I do have, oh no, I caught that. Oh, spider sense kicked in right there. But I do have Kakuza to add to my collection. So I'm extremely happy about that. Now, the next one that I have from that is going to be Diderot right here. I also was able to pick him up and add him to my collection as well. I haven't seen him since I've gotten this one. So I don't know if like they're not planning on getting any more. Because again, I believe I got this one from GameStop as well. They had both, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So I picked them both up. So yeah, I definitely had to scoop him up as well. Because I know this is a collection I am going to try to collect and finish. I already have Sasuke from here. I am probably not going to get Orochimaru just because I already have one. And I'm trying to kind of keep my collection limited to what I have. Because I don't want to have multiple variants to the same pop. So, which is why I'm probably going to end up downsizing a little bit because I did realize that there are some pops, especially in the Naruto line, that I have multiples of, just different variants. So, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of those just to kind of weed out my collection because it has become quite a lot. I have so many pops and I don't even get to display all of them. You can't even see all of them. I've forgotten some that I even had. So, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of those, but I do have D Diderot to add to my collection as well. I'm extremely excited about that. So now I'm going to have to kind of figure out if I'm going to have like one set that's just villains and then I have all my Naruto, like the heroes, heroes, I guess you could say. And then I have my Boruto pops as well. So it's probably going to end up becoming a lot of moving around that I'm going to have to do for that bookshelf. I'm not really looking forward to it, but hey, it is a new year. So you always got to make some changes come the new year. So that's something I'm going to look not look forward to, but I know I'm going to do. I just have to find the time to do it. Now, the next pop I'm going to show you guys, my fiance actually got it for me for Christmas, mainly because she felt bad about the other one that she got me because she paid. She never told me how much she paid, but I know she got it before it was restocked and before they made a new variant. 
And I know at that time it was going from anywhere from 50 to 70 bucks. And when I got it, it the box was not in great condition by any means necessary. And I believe the person that sold it to her said that it was going to be in not mint, but near mint condition. So she was very disappointed about it because I believe because it was a birthday present last year. So she ended up getting me Eddie from Stranger Things, the newer Eddie that they have right now. Because like I said, she did feel bad that it came in damaged. I mean, I was just extremely excited to have the pop. Like, I could just put him out of box and keep this one in box. It's not a big deal to me most times. Unless it's like that Scotty Pippen pop that I end up getting that came in completely destroyed thanks to USPS. But we already know how I feel about them. So we're not even going to get into that. But there we go. I do have the new Eddie to add to my collection. So I don't have a whole, whole bunch of Stranger Things pops, but I do have quite a few and they are starting to take over a little bit on my own television and movie section over there. And I honestly just redid that like a couple months ago. So again, I'm probably going to redo it. I mean, this is going to be an easy one to do because I can just put him in place of the old Eddie playing guitar. Like that's not a big deal. So that's not too much of an issue for me to have to just move him around so but I am very thankful that she did pick this pop up for me I think it was the only one she said because she had found it at Target so she picked it up for me just to make up for the other one like I said she didn't have to do that but I'm very appreciative either way it goes but yes I now have Eddie to add to my collection now the next one I'm going to show you guys I got from FYE I almost bought it again but thankfully, I was saving my money up because I had just, obviously, the holidays had just happened. I didn't have the money to spend like that until my next paycheck. I started saving my money back up. But I did. I almost bought it a second time. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I actually saw it before it happened. That's going to be Kiyoshi from the Avatar line. Avatar The Last Airbender. Not to be confused with Avatar the movie, which I still have not seen. I saw the first one many, 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 many moons ago when it first came out wasn't really my thing I saw it once and I was good on that I would have to rewatch it to watch the second one because I don't re genuinely remember what happened in that movie really I just remember a tree and he had to use his hair or whatever to plug into things that's pretty much all I remember and that he was paralyzed from the waist down or something like that that's all I remember but I do have Kyoshi to add to my collection now I did just recently move over my avatar shelf from way over there to over here and unfortunately because the way I was originally going to have it all the pops would have fit perfectly but Bonnie wanted to have the Appa and Momo there there sort of stuffed uh, animals there as well and that took up a lot more space than what I thought so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move them either down to where my Marvel collection is or up or somewhere something along those lines but either way, they're going to be moved so I can actually double stack the pops because right now they can't be double stacked just because of how the bookshelf is. Like that middle one cannot move at all. It is a fixed. It's just fixed in the spot, so I can't move it. So things going to be done all over the place on that. But I do have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Glow in the Dark Kiyoshi to add to my collection. I'm very excited to have this one in there. She looks freaking amazing. I'm not even going to lie. Like just pure blue. It actually reminds me of... um. The TLC chases for a waterfall where they're all just translucent blue. They don't glow in the dark though, which of course makes sense. They shouldn't glow in the dark. But this right here is freaking amazing. I am so happy that I picked it up when I did. Last time I was in my FYE, I believe they had at least two more left. They had like six at the time. So I don't think it's going to be one of those that's going to sell out anytime soon. But there's a good chance. So if you want to pick that up, definitely go to your local FYE and see if they still have it. If you don't have it already. The next one I'm going to show you guys is going to be the last one. And I found them at Target. The first time I saw them, I was like, they had like four of them. I was like, I'll come back later to get it because I had to get to work and everything like that. I came back the next day. They were all gone. All of them. Every single one was gone. So I just decided to go on ahead and see if they still have them in the Funko Shop, which they do. I don't know if they're still there as of right now. But I know they had it like a week or so ago. And then after I ordered off of the Funko shop, I went back to Target just to see what they had, if they had anything new. 
which they had a few things like a few new comic book covers as well as a few bitty pops but nothing too too crazy or anything like that and they had like four more of these pops but they were all damaged like the plastic that holds the pops was just smashed to hell the boxes were like had the little cut down the middle because they don't pay attention how they're cutting their boxes open so I was like I'm glad I ordered mine off of the Funko shop it's just at least I know that way there's a better chance of me getting it in pretty good condition like a near mint condition I know they now have one left it's actually a newer one that's not damaged at all but I don't need it because I already bought it so which Kind of sucks because, you know, paying for it. It's cheaper to buy it on the Funko shop, but you're also paying for that shipping and everything like that. So it kind of equals out, if not a little more. But without further ado, the pop that I'm talking about is going to be Eddie. Campaign Eddie from Stranger Things right there. Now, this is a pretty freaking awesome pop. I'm not going to lie. I've been trying to stay away from getting like uh, the bigger pops just because I don't really have room for them anywhere right now. But when I saw this one, I was like, I definitely have to get this. This is just a freaking amazing pop. Like, Funko did really well on this one. I am extremely happy to have it. He is more than likely, obviously, going to be displayed out of box. Where exactly, I don't know. Because I just recently moved all of my Dragon Ball Z pops up to a top shelf where I would have put him at. So now I got to figure this out as well. It's just... <sighs> The one thing about being a collector is that after you get a so many, it's hard to figure out how you want all of them to be displayed, how they're all going to work together. And it's, it's going to be interesting because, I mean, I could probably move my 10-inch Mushu, but I have nowhere else to put them. So you just got to stay up there with Shenron as well as my Purunga, as well as my few other Dragon Ball Z pops. But yeah, Eddie is, is going to go somewhere, not sure where. But he is definitely going to be displayed out of box because he is an awesome, awesome pop. Extremely happy to have him in my collection. Like, you can't, you can't beat that. Like, Funko did really well on this one. I'm very proud of them. They've been having some hit and misses going on as of late. But I think this might be one of their better pops. Ending the year of 2023, heading into 2024. So I can only wait to see what other pops are going to have coming out this year, especially with the cons coming up again and I mean I know they got a lot of anime pops coming out that they're thinking about none that I personally collect from any anime line that I watch I'm still working on getting Demon Slayer I'm like six seven episodes in I was told from a co-worker that after the training session is when it gets really good and I know that the animation is freaking amazing from some of the clips that I saw so I'm excited to get past the training part and get to like the actual meat and potatoes of the show and one piece is just never going to happen that's too many episodes i'm not going to catch up with it like no like i'm i probably watched the live action i heard it's pretty close to the uh to the anime and the manga so that might be my best bet but as of right now i don't think i have any desire to watch one piece i did try watching it when it first came over to the states and it just didn't grab my attention so i don't think that's gonna be one i'm gonna get into but Either way, that is what I have for you guys today. That is just a little quick look at what I got last year, at the end of last at the end of last year, maybe November to December time frame. Not quite one hundred percent sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments down below what if you got any pops for Christmas, or if there's any pops that you're looking forward to to getting that are rumored to come out this year or some that you still want that have already been out, just let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. See you till the next video. Peace.